Grace here, and today we're gonna put on our scientific goggles and we are gonna do something that true scientists do. We are gonna do scientific sketches. Right here, here's the plant, and we're gonna explore the plant a little bit more. So I'm gonna pick two leaves from this tree or this plant. We're gonna make some observation about these leaves. What do you notice? So scientists, we use sketches to help us communicate information. Similar to artists, we use drawings. Our illustrations often include diagrams and labels, explanations and questions. Now you don't have to think of yourself as an artist to be really successful at scientific sketches. All you need to do is take some time, observe closely and record what you see. We call it the ABCs of scientific illustration because each letter stands for something that we should keep in mind while we are drawing. A stands for accurate. Now is this picture accurate? No, flowers don't have smiley faces in them. So when you're drawing something scientific, you want your drawing to resemble the object as close as possible. B stands for big. So when you're drawing something small, you want to make it you're drawing big so that you can see it better. C stands for colorful. So if you have colors and the object you're drawing is colorful, it's good to add those too. D stands for detailed. Sometimes when you're looking at it, it can be complicated. So adding details can help us remember what it looks like. E stands for explained. So you might wanna add words to help describe what we're looking at or add labels. So when you're thinking about drawing something scientific, remember your A, B, C, D, E's. Now we are gonna start our scientific sketches. now that it's accurate so we added in all of the different shapes and how many of the lines that we see and we made it really big let's continue on with colorful Now that I added colors, it's time to make sure that it's super detailed. So as you can see, all of these little lines I represented on here with the dark green. So we added detail. We can now explain it. So we can add words and add other parts to help us remember. So now we can ask, I wonder, it reminds me of, I notice about what we see on our scientific specimen, which today is a leaf. I wonder what it will look like tomorrow. It reminds me of the shape of a triangle. I notice it doesn't have a strong smell. We can continue adding more detail and make observations that we notice about our specimen. Don't forget to add the date. Now that we finished this scientific sketch, it's your turn to go out and find a specimen to do your scientific illustration with. So it could be another leaf, or it could be a flower or another part of a plant, or it could be something else like a creature that you find. So. I want you to take some time, observe closely, notice what you see and record it in your scientific journal. Thank you so much for joining me today and see you later scientists.